Hello everybody, finally the undead base blocking video is here and uh, it's, th th this video is completely done by me. Uh, I played against a computer in my uh, home and um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to, how to base block as undead. I'm gonna show you all the maps, all the uh, standard ladder maps uh, including including Lost Temple, Norwood and Echo Isles and all that two player maps. Uh, there are a few exceptions I'm not going to do I'm not going to do a few maps. Uh, Death Trap, and I'm going to do. I'm not going to do. Um, uh, what, are, what, are, what are the others? Um, Death Trap, I'm not going to do. Snowdrop, I'm not going to do. Um, Road to Hawthorne, I'm not going to do. And I think that's the, that's the only standard maps and that, I, um, that I'm not going to do um, tutorials on. But anyway, here, welcome to this video. And um, this is Asian Isles. This is 11 o'clock spawn. Notice I'm uh, putting the altar. This altar is gonna block this with block with this tree, and the altar and ziggurat is gonna block this gap. So there's only one building buffer around the altar, and the ziggurat is gonna block that. Therefore, only small units can get through. Heroes won't be able to. So look, notice my acolyte is gonna get right, walk right through. And uh, in my all my videos, I put my graveyard. I I try not to use my graveyard or my shop to base block because. Uh, I feel like graveyard uh, needs to be used properly for uh, lumber income, and uh, shop needs needs to be uh, accessible. Not you don't need to go all the way to the back of your base to um to shop to do shopping. So, uh, but uh, in some in some maps like uh, like Nall Wood or something or some maps in uh, Aqua Isles, you absolutely need every single building uh, before you take to tier three, like two ziggurats and shop, it's crypt, and and the uh, and the shot um, and the graveyard to an altar to block your base properly before you take the tier two. Um, I'm I'm doing this so you don't have to get a. I'm doing I'm doing this tutorial so you don't have to get a an Arabian tower. Normally, if you don't if you don't a base block properly, you normally have to get a Arabian tower to verse to block the flame after that. But anyway, notice my heroes out. I'm gonna try to get in from using my lich, and the lich is not gonna get in. I'm gonna try three gaps. This gap, this gap, and this gap. Neither of them can allow the liching. So uh, yeah, there you go. And, um, yeah, I think that's the end of the video and uh, the end of the replay. I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, um, th that that's how you block block your base. Notice this formation. Uh, Eleven o'clock on uh, on the Asian Isles. It's very simple. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to uh, four o'clock. Uh, four o'clock on Asian Isles. And uh, just I hope you guys don't mind this. And just the loading screen is kind of long, especially on when when I record all uh, videos. I uh, the frame per frame per second rate drops way down because my hard drive isn't that fast. My hard drive is only 5400 uh, RPM. But anyway, this is a four o'clock spawn on Asian Isles, and uh, uh, there are some things I need to I meant to I meant to uh, tell you guys. The necropolis, I think I mentioned in other videos, uh, I can't block a cock. I said it and I said it before and I said it again. Necropolis, this main of yours, cannot block a cock if you if if you wanted to. If you beg him to block cock block you and yeah, he's not gonna do it. So he's a bad wingman for that matter. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna see this is the eleven o'clock uh, four o'clock on Asian Isles. It's very similar to eleven o'clock on Asian Isles. Put your altar right next to a tree. Notice this these uh these trees will cannot cannot never ever get chopped down by your ghost. That's this is what uh, part of the reason why I put my uh, graveyard way out there so these trees will never get touched. Um anyway, we're gonna see this uh, fast DK build. I'm not going to do I'm not going to do a fiend build. It's the same exact freaking uh, building positions. It's just a different order. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get a DK this time. It's uh, exactly the same. All heroes are same size. They need two building buffers, two matrices to get in, to get in and out of uh, between buildings. And here's the graveyard. Can go down. Uh, well, I have no idea why I'm not doing. That. Okay, <laughs> here's the graveyard. Uh, and notice only three buildings. You just need three buildings on this map. Uh, for for either spawn positions, you need a crypt, a ziggurat, and uh, the altar to block your base. And later, I'm going to use my hero to try out these gaps, which aren't going to, which will not uh, allow any uh, hero access. Uh, this allows you to uh, skip out on the um, on the Nerubian tower. By the way, if you if you base block properly, 
it's really hard to, for any orc player or any other uh, grace to take out your building and then harass your acolyte. Maybe a ranged hero is able to do it, like uh, Priestess of the Moon or um, even Dark Ranger. And here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my uh, DK just to try out these uh, gaps. I noticed that my DK wouldn't be able to get through any of these gaps. And uh, of course, this gap is really really small. So yeah, um, there you go. There's, uh, this is how you base block on the Asian Isles on four o'clock spawn. I don't know why I played this out. I, I have no idea why. But oh. Oh, never mind. I think I why. I think why. I, I think I scouted the human, and I wanted to show you guys the. I want to show you guys the destroyer rush build. Um, but anyway, um, this video is for. <laughs> this video is only for. Um, um, undead base block. So yeah, I hope you guys remember this formation. Um, crypt next to a tree. A ziggurat between these the crypt and the altar, and then the altar right next to another tree. Uh, by the way, if you ever. If you ever uh, happen to um, if you ever happen to chop down one of these trees, just put a zig sword ziggurat right next to it. You're gonna need a second ziggurat before tier two, unless you're unless you're gonna do some uh, some insane tier two ro tier three rush like a like a fast wall, frost worm or something or banshees. You 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 I think nine out of ten times you need the second ziggurat. Might as well use it as a as a blocking tool. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this uh, um, replay. I'm gonna let's move on to other maps. Um, by the way, I, I should have mentioned all undead buildings except ziggurats and uh, necropolis have um, uh, all down the undead building except ziggurats and necropolis have one building buffer around them. Um, therefore, um, therefore you do not want to. Uh, you do not want to put two buildings, say a graveyard and, and a crypt, next to each other, because if they, if either, if either of them has one building buffer around them, you um, you're gonna make two building buffers next to each other. If they're gonna make two building buffers next to each other, then you uh, you really screw. The play master gonna walk right through and uh, gonna be like, ha ha, you noob, say bye to your acolytes. Wow, I, I rather I think I think the most Effective uh, her play master harass is going right after you started your tier two tech. So it's, you you need to cancel your tier two tech, which you, you lose like one fourth of the resource you spent, and then you need a <laughs> then you make a more acolytes and then you start your tier two tech. That's going to delay. That's going to wreck your economy and your build order. So anyway, this is Asian Echo Isles for uh, for those of you who uh, don't notice, and this is uh, ten o'clock on Echo Isles. Echo Isles is one of those maps. It's so it's a pain in the neck to block. It's a freaking pain in the neck, and you need to use every single building possible to block this freaking map to do a, a building a building a base block properly. Notice uh, I'm gonna get a lich, and I'm gonna to just remember this formation. Um, uh, 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 these these two buildings can be switched, by the way. The crypt can be up here, and the altar can be down here. Just to just remember to to block your base. Never have two buildings next to each other without um, without a ziggurat because a ziggurat is kind of a is, uh, act like a lamppost, if you will. Uh, imagine those uh, uh, lines, uh, transmission lines. You need one. You need a post next to for them, um, just to get in the way between these two buildings. Therefore, just one building buffer um, between these two buildings and one building buffer next to those, and of course one building buffer next to those. But anyway, this. Uh, Echo Isles, uh, 10 o'clock on Echo Isles is kind of a, a 10, 10 o'clock on, on Echo Isles is kind of a um, pain in the neck because you need a third ziggurat to block everything. You need to um, notice I'm going to throw this third ziggurat here, and uh, here we go. Um, now you now your base is properly blocked. You don't need you do not need to um, see how my lich can even get through this gap, and I think the only way. Range heroes can hurt your uh, economy. Is to stand here, and maybe this I can know this I can when you wouldn't be able to touch. So uh, range heroes, even if they're standing here, wouldn't be able to um, wouldn't be able to hurt your economy. Notice I cancel the acolyte, and I want to show you guys. Um, I don't want to pause the video, pause the replay. Notice um, if 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 you have a gap in your base block, and uh, you see an incoming hero. Just to put your one, put a two goals at, at the gap to seal that gap off, so they they are forced to attack your goals, and you you can buy time for your heroes and units to come back. Uh, that way, you don't need to, and also you can continue to mine. You don't need to, 
you uh, you don't need to um, do anything else. Besides, by the uh, once you see any hero or incoming hero or um, enemy, you need to pull your goals uh, anyway. So might as well have them block the gap for you. And that's this is why I'm doing this and see my ledge when you to when you to go past that goal. So um, that's uh, Echo Isles on 10 o'clock. Remember, Echo Isles on 10 o'clock. You need the third ziggurat to block to block your base properly. And uh, I'm gonna move on to Echo Isles 2 o'clock. Um, which is which is easier than 10 o'clock, I have to say, because you don't need the third ziggurat to block your base properly. I'm gonna take a drink of my drink. Uh, um, and here we go. The the idea I've tried this a lot of times. Trust me, I tried this a lot of freaking times. This is why. It's